The action takes place 22 years after the events of Jurassic Park in 2015. John Hammond has long since died, leaving behind his main brainchild, a park reserved with dinosaurs, to the equally ambitious but not without caution billionaire Simon Mastrani. To realize Hammond's vision, he divided the island of Island of Islanablar, its northern part where the original park was located, became a place where dinosaurs lived in the wild without human intervention. The southern part became Jurassic Wars, a park where people safely watched harmless and trained dinosaurs. But over time, the park's attendance began to drop, as in 20 years, people are no longer impressed by the old rides, and the company that owns the park decides to open a new attraction to attract more visitors. To do this, the company scientists create a new and very dangerous species of dinosaur, the Indominus Rex. The first scene of the movie shows two little Indominus Rex hatching from eggs, but later only one remains, having eaten the twin. Two brothers, Zack and Gray Mitchell, say goodbye to their parents at the airport and go to the Jurassic World Park on Dinosaur Island, where their aunt, Claire Deering, works as an administrator. But she gets busy and gives them passes to all the rides, instructing her assistant Zara to keep an eye on the brothers. Claire herself goes to the other side of the island where Indominus Rex lives. Down there, the builders are increasing the height of the enclosure wall for security purposes. On Mastrani's recommendation, she goes to Owen Grady, with whom she had a brief romantic relationship. A former Marine, Grady now works for InGen over the years. Hammond's Genetic Corporation has also become a private military research company, trains velociraptors, which the head of the company's military wing, Vic Hoskins, wants to use for military purposes. Owen opposes this because velociraptors unlike other species, are the hardest to control. Claire asks Owen to check out the enclosure of the Indominus Rex. After learning the history of this dinosaur's breeding, Owen says that the individual is raised incorrectly. The dinosaur's life is spent in complete isolation, which makes its perception of the world around it incorrect. As remark, however, is ignored upon arrival, it is discovered that the individual is not visible on the thermal imager. They notice claw marks on the wall and think that the dinosaur may have escaped. Owen, along with a guard and a worker, enter the enclosure to see if the dinosaur has escaped. But then it turns out that the dinosaur was in the enclosure the whole time and the scratches on the wall were a hoax. Wayne Dominus chases them down and eats the worker, but the guard opens the gate. Indominus Rex breaks through the half-open gate and eats the guard, but Owen manages to escape by dousing himself in gasoline to mask his scent. Owen makes it to the control center. Along with everyone else, he watches as the rangers follow the motion sensor into the jungle. The trainer notices that the staff only have stun weapons and warns that this is a large individual and the rangers won't be able to handle it. His just uh, remark is again ignored. Meanwhile, the team sees that a dinosaur has gotten rid of the beacon. Katashi Hamada, the ranger squad leader, informs them that the Indominus Rex is also capable of changing its coloration to mimic its environment. The rangers suffer casualties and retreat. Owen offers to evacuate the island, but Masrani refuses, thinking that they will stop the dinosaur quietly and therefore only closes all attractions near the industrial area. Meanwhile, Claire's nephews, Zack and Gray, escape from Zara. They visit the Tyrannosaurus Rex Kingdom, watching a Mosasaur feeding. Then, the brothers, riding through the valley on a gyrosphere, ride through an unlocked gate into the jungle. There, they are attacked by an Indominus Rex. A short duel between the lizard and the Ankylosaurus uh, gives them a little time, but still not enough. Having finished the enemy, Indominus Rex rushes to the gyrosphere and almost effortlessly bites through its impenetrable actual. The brothers miraculously manage to get out of the no longer safe transport and escape by throwing themselves from the waterfall. Owen and Claire head into the jungle to search for them. Stumbling upon a carved up herd of Apatosaurus, they notice that the individual is killing for fun. She hasn't eaten any of the dinosaurs she's killed. Jack and Gray find the abandoned structure of the old park guest house where they repair the jeep and leave. Owen and Claire, unable to catch up with them, 
hide from an Indominus Rex that appears. Not even that, she doesn't notice them at first, but then breaks through the roof and tries to catch up with them, but is distracted when she sees the helicopter. She heads towards the birdhouse. On the way, she is attacked by a helicopter with a machine gun piloted by uh, the inexperienced park director, Simon Mastrani. She breaks the dome of the aviary and releases paranodons and demorphodons, which shoot down the helicopter. Mastrani fails to control it. As he is killed when the helicopter crashes and explodes. Meanwhile, Zack and Gray arrive at the park gate in a Jeep park gate is opened for them by the guards. That's where Owen and Claire get to. The Deptosaurs wreak havoc in the park, injuring and killing many visitors and staff members, including Claire's assistant Zara, who was literally fed to a Mosasaur by the Parasaurus. Owen is attacked by one of them, but Claire saves him and he kisses her in gratitude. They find a specimen, but it turns out that it has Velociraptor DNA in it. After a brief conversation, it pits them against the human's raptors, have a new alpha owner marks. Despite heavy fire and desperate resistance, the group suffers additional casualties, though they do kill one of Owen's pets. While the surviving dinosaurs flee with the specimen, Claire, seeing what is happening, drives away in a car. The Velociraptors chase them, but the brothers fight them off and manage to break away. One of the Velociraptors, Blue, attacks Barry. He hides in a log. Owen yells Blue. The dinosaur stops attacking after recognizing its host. However, it quickly switches to Owen. Dot Owen catches up with Claire and heads to the park, where everyone has been evacuated to safety. And they head to the lab, where they see that all the equipment has been taken out, and the secret lab is full of material on Indominus Rex and other hybrid predators. Hoskins says that Indominus Rex was the first attempt at creating the perfect killer, multi capable of stealthily infiltrating and destroying enemy camps, but a Velociraptor that appears kills him. The survivors make their way outside where they are overtaken by the Velociraptors and then by Indominus Rex, which again tries to turn its pack on the humans, but Owen manages to reconnect with his charges and orders them to attack the beast. During the battle, two Velociraptors are killed and Claire releases Tyrannosaurus as reinforcements. During the fight, Indominus defeats Tyrannosaurus, but the surviving Velociraptor manages to distract Indominus allowing Tyrannosaurus to rise to his feet and do serious damage to his opponent. Tyrannosaurus pushes Indominus close to a body of water where he is grabbed by the Monstrosaurus head and dragged underwater. The surviving Velociraptor looks at Owen waiting for the next command, but the trainer nods to let the dinosaur know he is free to go. Jurassic World's temporarily closed again because of what happened. Shocked visitors and staff sit on the pier and wait for ships to Costa Rica. In the morning, Zack and Gray are visited by their parents. E. Claire and Owen work out their relationship, will stick together and leave. In the last scene, the Tyrannosaurus walks onto the tarmac and symbolically growls, Our channel is new. Please help the channel develop by liking and subscribing.